What's good, gamers? We out here in the forest, living our best life. Every day is our day. Besides this day, hey, it's Future Dre here. Past Dre looking kind of swole, not gonna lie. But I'm here because I do not mention in the whole video that the hydro dipping fails. So throughout this video, I'm here to explain what kind of happens in the transitioning instead. So, but for now, just enjoy pasture looking kind of cute. Today's exciting, you know why? I'm about to do something crazy, never done before on YouTube. It'll be hydro dipping switch controllers. Just kidding, that probably has been done. But in all honesty, I'm super excited to do this video. I think it might come out okay. This is probably my third time hydro dipping stuff. This is my first time hydro dipping a switch accessory. So hopefully let's, this turns out well. All right guys, so tune into this video. Please smash like if you enjoy, and let's find out what happens. So a few things we're gonna hydro dip today are gonna be the face plate, the back plate, and the leg of a pro controller. I have another whole set, but they're both Smash pro controllers. I know it's kind of sad because I do play Smash, I do love the Smash controllers. But I thought, hey, why not mix it up and look cool myself and do something different. <laughs> oh. And so our mission begins. And honestly, it starts off really good. The first item we dip doesn't turn out half bad, which I'll show you later on in the video. Alright, first item was a success. I clean the bucket and then I put new water in to try the next one. I start spraying and I notice a problem. The way the paint is going onto the water isn't the way it should look. I replace the water and try again, but the paint is still doing the same thing. I replace the water again, but this time I try a different paint instead, but still the same results. So guess what? I tried it again, but at this point I'm just giving up. Fucking result though, does not matter. So what are young studs supposed to do out here in these streets? My six subscribers, they rely on me for another video. So I lock myself in a hyperbolic chamber, and I think, and I think, and it finally comes to me. Let me just cut out that middleman, that dumb H2O, and just spray paint the controllers instead. So if you're wondering what colors I should use for my controllers, that's a great question. If you saw my last video, I just got the Animal Crossing Special Edition Switch, and I have the colors dissimilar to the colorways of the Switch, so I can do that one. But what about my other one? I am the pretty guardian who fights for love and for justice. I am Sailor Moon. And now, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. Yes, and in case you guys didn't know, I'm actually also a weeb, and me and my girlfriend right now are watching Sailor Moon. So I thought, why not be inspired by it and try to make a Sailor Moon controller? So now my second mission is beginning, and will I succeed, or will I fail? Find out on the second half of this video. We start off with the Animal Crossing one.
You might be a little confused on why this leg is already painted, but I only hydro dipped one item in this entire video. Well, it's actually quite complex. I just hydro dipped it before I started recording, that's all. Now on to my Sailor Moon designed one. I wanted to draw a moon, but I actually suck at drawing, so I asked Rose to do it instead. Nope. <laughs> That one came out a lot better. Mm -hmm. I've had a different hairstyle <laughs> and it's crazy because I haven't had that many videos so <laughs> it's been a whole month that's how long it took me to make this video that I went bald but you don't you didn't really come here for my hair I actually came here to see the conclusion of these remotes and I think they actually came out pretty good like in all like all all things like I think I think they did come out really good I'm not gonna lie though you can see that both of these are hydro dipped and it's because this one I also dipped before recording, but then I also covered it in some like other paint, and then it made it like, n like bubble up if you can tell, and like start cracking. Like, this is the actual one that I hydro dipped, and it came out pretty good. I think they came out better than I was expecting, but they didn't come out great because, as I said about this one hydro dipped, that red one that you saw in the video hydro dipped is this one. And it's, and it started leaving like extra stuff on it because of it. And another problem is that uh, the paint went underneath the tape. So because of that, you can see like some of the blue, gray, some of the gray on the white. But again, I'm still really happy. I wasn't expecting it to even come out nearly as good as it did. And I'm pretty proud. The only thing is when I play with them and I play with them for a pretty decent amount of time, they start getting really sticky on my hands. They don't leave anything on my hands. They just like get sticky. But overall, I'm super happy that this video is finally done because it took me forever because I upgraded my laptop. I put something new into it and it erased everything. So I had to re-edit the whole video again, which took me about a whole week to edit because I'm not good at editing. 
so I had to re-edit the whole thing again. So that's why this video took a lot longer than it should have, but it still came faster than how I used to record, so that's, that's a plus for me. So please smash like, guys. Slightly, as gentle as you can, tickle the like button for me. And then comment something. Comment that on bald, please, anything. And then if you can, please subscribe. That'd be much appreciated. I appreciate everything you guys do for just even watching this video, taking your time out today to watch it. And I'll see you on the next one, y'all.